Welcome to Banks Unboxing, where every day is Christmas. Today, the UPS driver just dropped off a 2020 Duramax oil cooler. Hey, it's Gail Banks. I've told the UPS man, he's got to start wearing a Santa suit because this feels like Christmas. I really enjoy this. Let's have a look at what we've got here. This is one of those boxes that's glued shut, so I'm going to try cutting it open on the opposite side so I don't have to rip through all the glue. I may regret this. I think we need a new... Uh... <laughs> all right, we're getting a new... We're getting a new knife, guys. Oh, Lord. Oh. Okay, we should be able to get into this baby. Here it comes. This is what I was hoping for. All right. Well, inside the big box, we have a little box. <laughs> you never, you know, the wisdom of all this gets it, kind of escapes me. But. Bye. I call that shipping air. I mean, it takes up a lot of space in the truck. You kind of wonder why they didn't just ship this. Come on, baby. I promise you guys, next time, that knife will have a new blade. All right. What have we got here? Okay. This does not come with instructions. You're supposed to know what to do with this. All right. There's the baby we're looking for. So what have they done new for 2020 on the Duramax oil cooler? That's, that's the question here. And uh, Oh, well, I can tell you one thing right off the bat. The filter mount, wow, the filter mount is small. The whole idea here is, will this thing fit the earlier model trucks? And we did a little research, and the 01 through 10, that'd be LB7, LLY, LBZ, and LMM, all use the same cooler oil filter assembly. Then you move into... And we've got that example. This is the early L5P, and this is the 2020 L5P. So for 2020, they've uprated the maximum towing capacity with the L5P engine, something fierce. So part of that is more radiator capacity, I'm sure more fan. I think the nose of the truck has more square inches of inlet area for cooling air. If you're gonna run at rated power or close to rated power with a heavy load and just hold it there, you're gonna make some temperature. You gotta have adequate water pump, fan, radiator, and adequate oil pump, which they already have, adequate oil cooler, because the oil is gonna take a lot more heat rejection under sustained power. For 2020, the horsepower remained the same, and the torque peak went up five pound-feet. So it wasn't a huge increase in power, but there is a huge increase, I believe, in cooling the oil. And I'm, I'm really interested in retrofitting this pup to the earlier trucks. So, ooh, looks like they went to a larger diameter bolt. That's happy. All right, let's have a look at what we've got inside this pup. One more. All right. All right. 
Oh, oh mercy. Okay. What I'm looking for, what I want to evaluate is two things. Oil temperature reduction through the cooler, but also oil pressure reduction through the cooler. So how do these things compare? You would think that the bigger cooler would have less pressure drop. But I'm noticing already that the plates on the 2020 appear to be a bit thinner, but it looks like there's a lot more of them. So the design change from 19 to 20 is pretty obvious. It looks like the same style of plate is used starting all the way back in 01 on the LB7s. And this early cooler has 11 plates. The oil goes into this stack of plates, through the plates, and out. And water flows through the housing from the entrance hole to the exit, and through an elbow, and up into the torque converter housing, and then across the block in the back, it enters right after the elbow, it enters, it enters on the left side, and then it goes through a duct in the torque converter housing and enters on the right cylinder bank. LML, I don't have one. <laughs> so we're gonna go right to 2017 through 19 L5P. Same style and thickness, as might even be the same manufacturer of the cooling stack. And this one I counted earlier and there's 14 of them. 14 plates. Okay, here's the 2020 L5P. Let's have a little count here. I've counted the first plate as a cooling plate, so I'll do the same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So we've got nineteen oil cooling plates on the 2020. We have 14 plates on the 17 to 19, and we have 11 on the 01 through 10. I'm looking at this, and I'm seeing a big improvement, guys. Uh, the way the water leaves the housing, too, looks to be improved. This thing is a monster by comparison. The first thing we're going to have to confirm is that this thing fits in all the previous trucks without hitting anything else. Uh, but it, it is readily apparent that the inlet looks to be identical. Just comparing the housing inlets and the location of the bolt holes. Yep. Yeah, these look like they are identical. Where the water enters, and I know this is hard to see, I'll try to place it so you can see it. Well, maybe there. If you look in here, as the water flows, this looks promising, but the actual opening into the earlier housing is much smaller. So then it got better. If you look at this one, there's your opening, but the entrance into the housing is much larger. Any way you look at this, it's much larger. So better water flow into the housing. But the exit out of the housing is still close to the block. So you, what you've got is you've got plates up here above this point that don't really have good water flow through them. That doesn't look too good to me. On the 2020, They've moved the outlet up so the water has to flow from the entrance point through the assembly like this. And it looks to me like they've probably configured the, uh, here we go, the plates 
in such a manner as to take advantage of that. And yeah, they have. All right. Boy, this, the 2020 oil cooler is looking awfully good. Nice, open, large inlet, as was on the earlier ones. By that, I mean the 17 through 19. But the outlet is way improved. So to use this on an earlier block, we're going to have to have that 2020 elbow and seal assembly as well. It's going to be interesting. Now, filter-wise, all the early ones, all the way from 01 to 19, use this filter, which is a, 22, a PF2232 AC Delco. And this is the filter for the 2020. It's smaller. So I'm, I'm a little troubled about this. I don't know quite what's going on here. Um, and I'm going to look at some other internal things in all three of these where they have che check valves and where they don't have check valves. Uh, the whole idea of the check valves is this. If the, if the cooler gets plugged and somehow restrictive and the pressure drop through the cooler goes a, a little too high, the check valve opens and bypasses the cooler somewhat. Same with the filters on the earlier, all the earlier ones up through uh, um, 19. They use a bypass filter. So there's an internal bypass or check in the bypass check valve in the built into the filter. And then they also have one built in to the oil cooler. So there's two check valves in parallel. Why would you do that? Well, they were worried that somebody might put on the incorrect oil filter, one with no check valve. Then you'd have no bypass. If the filter got plugged up, it would choke off the flow to the bearings. So they covered their tails. On the 2020, there is no check valve, secondary check valve. I can see that right here. And they've changed the, the mount. And I don't, I don't know if there's a non-check valve filter made that would fit this configuration. But I think they're thinking a little more modern, like the guy who's changing his oil filter should know better. I don't know. Uh, but all I'm telling you is, make sure you're using the proper oil filter on one of these. I may want to look at how in the heck I get more, more oil filter on this 2020 assembly. That remains to be seen. Bottom line is, I want minimum pressure drop through the oil filter and minimum pressure drop through the cooler, and I want maximum cooling of the oil. Now, if you want to know how this all comes out, Follow along on our Killing a Duramax series, and we'll see how this 2020 stacks up against the 17 to 19. I'm loving these unboxing videos. If you want to see more of these or our Killing a Duramax series, all you have to do is subscribe.